Hi, welcome. We just stopped our video with uh, how to install Arch Linux D. And we've done our mirror and we've done our updates and everything is, is just fine. So what's next then, you think? Well, you have this black screen and then it's actually, um, we're gonna use scripts and it means that it's a file, it's a text which means that you can change it any way you see fit, right? So it's um, Arclux D and B are both projects to give you, the user, the power to change anything you like, right? The Arclux ISO, which we call the big ISO, is for us. It has Openbox, i3 and XFC and all the apps that we need to develop our, our system, our project, right? So Arch Linux D is more kind of, um, well, I would say badass installation. It's black, right? And you need scripts and it's not that difficult at all. Just follow the video. So um, Arco, and then you think, right? I wanna have i3, done, you have it. I wanna have Mate, right? Okay, but this video is about LXQT. So there you go, we're going to clone this. It's a folder that you have. You go inside the folder and there you have all the scripts. If you run all the scripts from 000 to 910, everything will be okay. Now, the 00 is actually something we don't need to do anymore because we've put it on the ISO, but it's there for people as well, for like Arch Linux. When you go to phase five on archlinuxd.com, you still have it around. So you can um, build a package from AOR faster. That's why it is there. So let's educational wise run it doesn't hurt either it's gonna figure out you have four cores and gonna change things but things were changed so nothing changes that's how scripts work then we're going to install something visually right we want to have a something graphical it's all nice and all black but maybe <laughs> we'd like to have some coloring in our system here and that would be nice so that's number 100 so display manager and the desktop. So LXQT is in there as package. You open it up and you read what's inside. It's if you want to stay in here and you want to read it as possible too, you can do a nano and then a hundred for instance, this guy. And then you can see, okay, what's in here. We're gonna install LightDM and we're gonna install the LightDM greeter that we created, that Linux LightDM greeter and of course, if you want to be greeted with a beautiful wallpaper, yeah, you need to install the wallpapers. And here is LXQT. You can actually go and visit the code. Control X, get out of it. Okay, LS, what's next? Maybe you would like some music. So you install the sound. It's all a choice because next up I think is Bluetooth. Do you have it? Do you want it? So that's, um, as always, deciding what Lego blocks you'd like to install in your system. So Bluetooth it is, correct. All right, and then we have the printers. No need for printers, let's skip printers. Okay, we're in VirtualBox. Samba maybe well maybe we'll show that because it gives us some questions the other one is just running and nothing happens but samba is a server is a way to share stuff over the net at your home because it stops here what is your login it will be used to add this user to smb right so i'm eric that's my login and i have to put in the password it can be something totally different but i'm gonna use the same password as I used for my login, right? So that's it basically. Um, Samba is working, you just check out the Arch Linux tutorials. Let's do LS first. If you want to see other computers in your network, you better install 150. And if you want to have something for management for your laptops, that's gonna be 160, so battery stuff and all that, TLP. And then it's up to, well, running lots of stuff. Let's um, 
kickstarted already. It's divided into parts. Anything that's coming from the Arch repo is being installed right now. You see lines in front of it, community, extra. Um, there is another one, I think, core. Yeah, that's it. Core community and extra. Those are not Arch Linux repositories. These are Arch Linux repositories. So these packages all come super fast to us because it's pre-compiled on Arch Linux servers. Maybe like 100 uh, servers in the world, maybe more. Um, so that's why the mirror is important. The mirror alias. So you have to enjoy the 18 megabyte of megabit uh, speed here. And everything just installs super fast and that's what I like and love about Arch Linux. I will put it on pause from time to time. This is not the case, but there's a, there's a long script in there that takes a while to load up. The yellow things means that some, some of the elements are already installed and then it just skips it. So the scripts are made like that, that it just doesn't reinstall everything, it just skips it. All right, there you are. So that's uh, number 200, again, Nano 200. Lots of stuff was installed now. Atom Genie, C Matrix, Catfish, Gnome, Printers, Pinta, Deadbeef, OpenShot, Praga is installed. No, no, OpenShot is not installed. So anything with a hashtag in front is not installed. Anything without a hashtag is installed. It's easy. So you don't want to have Praga. Fine, put a hashtag there, control, Read the, read the line under there, control X, save modified, yes, voila, and then you run it. But I suppose you better make your scripts first in a graphical environment, put them on GitHub and later reuse them. That's the point, reuse our scripts, change them. Put them on GitHub, for instance, as a backup system. Now, the 300 has three major letters, AUR. So that's stuff that's coming from anywhere, from Red Hat, from Ubuntu, from GitHub, it's coming from everywhere, right? The 300 thing is a little bit tricky. That's why people put this line in here. Put a hashtag in front of set minus E to keep installing if there are errors. So the set minus E at the top of this, this script is actually telling to Linux, if there is an error, stop. But let's assume that in the middle of our script, there is an error because of a package build from the AOR, um, just telling AOR has nothing to do with Arco Linux, right? Nothing. So if there is an error somewhere in the middle, all the rest will not be installed down there. The second half will not be installed. So what you do, you go back to the top and put, delete set minus uh, I, uh, E or put a hashtag in front of it, which is smarter and it won't be used. And then it will skip this one thing in the middle and continue for the second half. So that's the tip we want to convey with this little message. Now this is going to take a little bit longer, so I'm gonna pause here. All right, let's continue. So 300 is finished, which means LS we need to do go for number 400. And 400 is already something that's quite specific in the sense um, that it's distro specific. So when we install or create new um, desktop systems, they're always going to be basic stuff that we need. We're always going to be need Firefox, right? But the stuff that we need specifically, like for instance, I see it ends with X screen saver. There's are things that we need for um, this particular desktop, Alex QT. So that's an interesting thing. Looking at those files that um, are three, 400 and 500, 
And 500 is also distro specific, but it's not a pseudo Pac-Man minus S, which is 400, arch, right? But this is AOR, which means AOR helper, which in our case is often yay or trizen. We have two of them. Um, if one fails, the other one works. That's the idea of fallback. That's why we have also different terminals. We need to have fallbacks. You never know if an application is not working. So that's that. We have an LXQT Arc Dark theme, as you can see, it's a beautiful theme. Um, so happy that that just exists out of the box. And then we're going to install the important stuff, what we think ours is important, of course, the Arco Linux stuff. This is getting away from Arch Linux and AOR. This is the Arco Linux core stuff. Teaming, tweaking, um, settings from LXQT. We've been, I think we're at number 27, version 27 or something of the package. I mean, lots of things you encounter on a new desktop. You say, I would like to have this. I want to have that. Why is that not possible? And you keep on digging until you have a system that you say, this is uh, okay with my workflow, my intentions, why my uh, preferences. So that's that, that's installed. All right, that's 600, very important. 700 is actually also very important. If you don't install the fonts, it will never be displayed the way it was intended, right? So without the not a font, um, things will look, well, different. I will not say ugly, but surely not the way we intended it. If you want to log in, then you do 800, so auto login. So no, um, well, login manager, no login screen. I'm not going to do that. So you see, you see the, the image, you see the login screen. And if you have, um, if you want to update your microcode uh, error there, you know, then you just run the script. I believe this is going to be installing Intel U code because there's also an AMD U code. So you decide um, if you need this or not. And if you want to have the micro, the breeze snow, the white one, if you want to have that one everywhere, everywhere you go now, this will be the breeze snow. So that's okay. Here, this part ends. There is also a folder called personal you could uh, run, but that's for a separate tutorial. Now you're done actually. So you sudo reboot. Everything is set. We're very curious to see how will this new system look. All right, we have a new grab theme. This is the login and you just say who you are. You have here the choice like this. So we'll make sure next time in the building process that open box is no, not visible anymore in our next release. But this point in time, it still is. So the intention is of course to log into LXQT. And there you have it. You have a beautiful system now, like so. All the possibilities. This is a full, well, lots of packages, so full installation, let's say, without any office. So LibreOffice or WPS Office or OpenOffice. You choose what office, office suit you would like. All the LXQT settings are just here. And let's end with this. To say that's an easy to use and a fast desktop environment, that's true. I have the feeling that's super correct. And some technical data for future reference. And then last control alt T is our Q terminal displaying the version and the version of the kernel, how many packages we've installed, resolution, LXUT. So we are relying on open box and that's why it says there, uh, just check the arch wiki, LXUT and you'll see. You can use other window managers but we've opted for open box, which gives us also the themes and the tweaks from open box. So all the knowledge, the things I'm doing right now, the tiling is there because of open box. When I press super and I'm on a separate numeric keypad, seven, that's this. 
Super 8, that's this Super 9, Super 6, Super 3, Super 2, Super 1, Super 5. L arrows as well, Super left arrow, right arrow, top arrow, down arrow, arrow, <laughs> and up arrow. So all these things is super easy, super fine, uh, super fast as well, very responsive. And we have some Compton as an, uh, to make it nicer. So applications that you open are going to have a little bit of um, um, shadow, not on virtual box, mind you, uh, but you need to be on real metal for that. And um, uh, bup, 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 I wanted to say something. Right, I'm changing the wallpapers. So this is a menu that's not from open box it's uh, from LXQT and actually it's from PS Man FM QT so it's actually from a file manager that takes over your desktop desktop preferences is a good tip to include in the video uh, we have a slideshow going on at the end and if you just click apply you already see all the different nice wallpapers that we've selected for you and it's actually suitable or suited for dual monitors so if there are people out there then they get immediately beautiful um, wallpaper all over the dual screen right because that's um, uh, well possible as well to have a wallpaper on dual screens what is not possible in LXQT is have one wallpaper on one screen and another wallpaper on another screen so that's why we chose to make a new package called Arc Linux LXQT Dual and boot from it and then nobody really sees it but it's super nice it's actually an improvement having a dual wallpaper on all screens here all right so that's it we have installed it and um, Arc Linux D right LXQT is ready to be explored by you guys all right cheers